Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines where we're building Fool's Town. Now, last episode guys, we built the kind of start to what potentially we could become a really, really cool canal system. We got it all set up, which kind of filters into brand new areas, thus creating brand new areas for us. Now, since last episode, I've done a little bit of work. I've zoned a few little roads. I haven't done all of it, because I want to do some more today, uh, right now. I built a few extra paths and whatnot, and uh, done some pretty cool things, which I'll show you in just a moment. So hopefully today, then, we can get these brand new areas set up. And I want them to be kind of those, like, self-efficient, really modern, high-quality housing kind of neighborhood. It's going to be really, really good. So I've done some changes. And let's take a look then. So this is what it ultimately was that we created. I kind of narrowed that little bit there a little bit more. I've created now walkway bridges from this ferry kind of, um, what was it called again? A ferry, ferry stop uh, leading up to here. I didn't connect it to that one because that is a path inside the park. But we kind of let it with dirt paths going down. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, anybody using it? Oh, there's three people walking up there. Oh, there's more. There's quite a few people using these. Nice, nice. So I've also zoned some roads, and look at how cool that what looks. It reminds me of like Beverly Hills slash like the Hollywood Hills, where you know the famous people live and stuff like that. It kind of looks, you know, does look really really cool. I've created this road now. I've changed it into a tram road, and it kind of bridges over, and so we can have like a tram system running through. Now I found a little problem when I, as soon as I did that is the fact that. You know, if it wasn't connected to the current trans system, which is just over here, I have to build a brand new depot. And it's really difficult to build a depot because they're so big. So what I did was, and quite smartly, where is it? Just here. There is a little tunnel that goes under. So we can use the current depot that we have, which kind of filters out here and connects up. So we can use that depot to serve this area. It's pretty dope, guys. It's pretty dope. I'm, you know, quite impressed with it. So I want to try and get all this area set up. Uh, I've been looking at it, and I built this little inlet outlet section there connected to the highway. Reason for that is, when I was looking at it from a glance from a distance, there's only two ways in and out of this area, well, originally. There was going over the bridge here, which kind of connects up to there, which this will be heavily used, or that will be heavily used for this area. Or this little small road down here. So for one, we have one in the middle as well, see how things go. Uh, and we might start to see some more traffic use all this coming down. It's going to be quite exciting. So what we'll do first then, we'll zone the areas. They're going to be brand new areas right now. And uh, they're going to be the high efficiency kind of housing. We kind of have that neighborhood set up in Anchor Park. Now, I don't know whether to do two separate neighborhoods or class this all as one. What's it going to be called? Washington Square. Which is not too bad. Now we're going we're gonna to make this be it as well. There we go. Let's drop it down a little bit smaller. So this whole area here is Washington Square. It's going to be very, very posh. It's where the upper class are going to live. There we go. So let's do some policies to it then. So services, it's going to have recycling. We are going to have Boosting the parks and recreational, educational. No, we won't do educational boost. Now we can't. Mm, now we'll leave that as it is. Um, let's go. All right, free insulation. No, we'll go for. Let's see. Recycle plastics. Uh, preferred parks. Tourists in the area. What does that say again? Sorry. Tourists in the area visit. Uh, uh, no, we'll keep it as it is. Free Wi-Fi. No, it's all good. City planning. We're gonna make sure it's high-tech housing. There we go. We're going to do a high-rise ban. We'll do a combustion engine ban. We'll boost it for electric cars. Filter in industrial waste. Um, automated toll. We don't have any tolls in this area. We don't have any tolls in, in the city at all. Maybe we should think about that at some point. Right, small business enthusiast or big business benefactor? For large businesses, high-density commercial doubles their sales. Hmm. Now, we'll go small. We'll keep it all small. It's not going to be skyscrapers. It's going to be a very quiet, very, you know, nice little neighborhood. So I haven't done I haven't done this side here with roads. So what I want to do is kind of get this area set up with the zoning and planning. And then we'll do some roads on this side while this all builds. So I know it's going to take a while to get it all done just because of where we are currently in the game. So we'll, we'll, we'll do some high residential, but I won't. I'll kind of leave it in the middle. 
So we'll kind of paint it around the edges. So let's kind of start over here. So I want to get all this in. Now, the thing is, and the kind of problem is right now, we're going to have power issues, maybe. We're probably going to have power issues. I wish we could have like a bigger paint tool. Does that mod exist, a bigger paint tool? I would love to know. Right, we do want some commercial at some point, so we will throw that down very, very soon. Let's just kind of get all this in. Let's kind of, should I just drag and drop it? Yeah, no. When you're doing kind of stuff like this, it's just easier to paint it, isn't it? Really. You can be more precise. Right, there we go. These are going to be all like little... I'm just, all I'm thinking is Beverly Hills slash Hollywood, where all the houses are on the hills and stuff like that. It's like really, really cool. Right, so we'll paint this area, get this all up and running. There we go. Paint that to there, and then we'll do some low commercial then. So low commercial, I want to kind of stick this to the main roads, the bigger roads, because that's where you normally see commercial. There we go. Can I paint bucket this? There we go. So we just drop some commercial there. And we kind of want it to continue going around, but I'll probably do some higher commercial there then. So we'll keep this one here as low commercial. There we go. We're going to have some um, power problems. But we should be all good. So let's do the high commercial first then. Before we uh, progress any further with any other type of, you know, zoning. Right. High commercial, just running through. Now, obviously, with the stuff that we do have, it will change the landscape. It is banning high rises. We've got to remember that. And do you reckon that will be enough commercial to kind of zip down there? The main, like, drag strip and everything else is residential. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty dope. Right. So. Let's zone as much of this as possible. There we go. Right, that's now all zoned, right? Just missing the yard one or two. Now it's all high there. Then everything else we're going to have to be low residential. Now, granted, it is quite a lot of residential, and this demand probably won't get satisfied for quite some time. Just because of where we are in the demands right now. But it should be good. So we'll let that continue to do what it's got to do. We're going to have some power issues. I will wait a little bit until they've all kind of built and set up. Um, power issues right now, you can see where they're taking place. So just let it kind of tick over naturally and see what happens. We'll come back to that in just a moment. So we'll fast forward it in, and then we'll do some roads over here while we wait. So I kind of want to do what I've done similar to here. I kind of built like a ring road that goes around the main ring road, which I thought was kind of cool. So I want to do something similar to that. So bring this round. Just have it connected like that. Yeah, it's kind of dope. And then off this then is where we create those uh, little slit off roads, if you know if that's the correct term for them. I don't know. So stuff like this. Well, I think it's so cool. It does create these little really good little neighborhoods. It's more natural to what you would see in the real world. Can I squeeze a little one in here? Look at how cool that looks. It does look really, really good. You have to admit that. All right, apparently the slope is too steep. All right, I, could, I could slightly squeeze one in there. How does that look? We can get away with that slightly if I can get another one there. There we go. 
And then he continues down here. So it creates a nice little corner there. I like that. I like it a lot. So we don't plan to see any high traffic in this area. At all. Well, that's what we hope to see anyway. Not a lot of high traffic or anything like that. So there's still still a lot of parishes right now. Uh, it is coming along quite nicely. We're going to get some expansions over here. A little bit more over here, I'm noticing. Starting to build a bit more there. They will get the power. Don't worry. Before you start screaming at me in the comments, they will get power. Don't worry. Right, okay. So let's get now then. We're going to create a cut there. And then we'll do something a little bit different there so they're the, they're the crisscross section what we've created is like you know you gotta think of the traffic flow then everything else comes off it And then we'll create a little snap there. It does look really good, doesn't it? Oh, man, I'm so impressed with this. So we bring that up to about there. That's fine. And then where else can we add some? So we could do some here. So when you create these little slit roads, the best thing to do is just come off the main road area. So it reduces the traffic in that area. So where we've got this residential section here, which can go, you know, you're thinking, oh, yeah, there's a lot of traffic, but the main flow of road comes down there. So bring that down just a, a tad more. That's kind of what I've seen in, like, in real life, to be honest. I've noticed, like, when you look at neighborhoods and, like, maps and stuff like that, when you think, wow, why didn't this connect that road to, to the main road there? And you're thinking, but then again, that would cause some big traffic issues. So it kind of makes sense to what they did. But, yeah, that looks so good. Okay, I'm really impressed. Right, so we've got that in. I won't zone this yet because you can see the issues that we are having at the moment in terms of how long it takes to actually get this all hooked up. So they're, they're slowly building over, slowly but surely. Residential has completely dropped. We're getting the odd little commercial pop up now. So can we do anything that's kind of, let's do some of these um, little parking lots here. No, 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 park. Oh, let's do, no, let's actually do parks, parks. Because that is something that we're going to be heavily needing as well. So we have a park there. We'll do some smaller ones in various spots. And there we go. Because they will need parks. And get like a large dog park. Is that a dog park? No, is this a dog park? Where's the dog park? Oh, is it this one? No. Yeah. Oh, it's that one. Yeah. I always get confused which is the dog park because you know these rich people love to walk their dogs. So we drop one over there, and um, we'll place one somewhere here-ish. If I can squeeze it in. Yeah, boy. Right there we go. A few little parks in right now. How's the power situation? Oh, we need to get a park up here. Let's throw one up there too. Uh, what should we go for? Baseball fields are always cool. They're always cool, but they're, they're very big to try and squeeze in. So is there anywhere I could squeeze it in? Alright. Dog park... Which is the small, smallest one out of all of these? Ah, this one. Right, there we go. How does the baseball park look there? It looks really good. Right, so screaming for power. It's so close for the connection. It's like I don't want to interrupt it. But I'm going to have to. Right, there we go. You now have power. Please don't moan. <laughs> right, there we go. All good. So it'll eventually just fill up. Takes time. Right, so these are stopping here. I don't really want them to stop. 
So I'm going to remove all traffic lights in this situation. Are we seeing traffic now come down here? Where are they choosing to go? They could be like just coming straight in here, straight down. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit more there, some here too. So it's quite interesting to see where it flows. It really is. And it kind of then, you know, changes how you design the city. Once this highway never got used when we first built it because there was no purpose to it, now there is. So, you know, where you can see these are kind of dead at the moment. Especially this one here is dead. You know, you got to remember this was once dead at one point. Now it's all coming to life, guys. It's all coming to life. So let's... How far is that off? It's not far off connecting to power. Let's look at now then the transportation system, which is the trams. So it is connected over here, which is all good. Um, we're just going to drop a few little trams in now. So let's just say it came through here and the line maybe starts there. It can come back around and it can drop off there. Drop the peeps off there. And then drop them there. Drop them there. Drop them here. Do we have it stop somewhere here? Yeah, we have it stop there and complete the line like that. That's literally all we really want it to do. I don't want to make it double back on itself because I don't feel like it's that heavily needed. We can get away with the one. So, yeah, we now you see trams start to come out. And then they'll go through the little tunnel system. So I just want to watch them for like a brief second as they come down right now. They're making their move. There's quite a few trams coming out. We've got nearly 6,000 people a week using our public transport system. That's really, really good. At some point, I want to build like the international airport as well. We've got the small regional airport, but the city is that huge right now. We need something bigger than that. So it's going through the tunnel. It just got hit by a bus. <laughs> but we start to see trams come around this place. If I do see, feel like there's a lot of people waiting at the stops, I will do the reverse section of it. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. Right, how are we doing it? Okay, that's now connected up to the power, as you can see. So it's all coming together nicely. So the only issue that we kind of have right now is the industrial demand. And I think we need to look at building more offices. Let me just take a look at how educated our citizens are. Very highly educated. So in office offices is going to be a huge must. And it'd be nice to add some offices along this side there, kind of fill that side up, you know, because it is near the, the the ground, near the great transport routes for work. So that'd be really, really cool to add that in. So let's actually think about doing that then. There we go. And I want to kind of create this semi-bendy-esque road that we're going with. There we go. I like it because you can you can do some cool stuff with it. That's what you can do with it. That's why I like it so much. All right, so bend that down to there. We all like create and connect up paths and stuff as well, so people can walk to and from areas. But you just got to try and keep the, the the main traffic. I mean, even though oh, I can squeeze that through almost. Even though it's, it's going to be all offices and the demand for this is not high whatsoever in terms of traffic. We should be all good. So that's kind of nicely all filtered there. There we go. Just create a small little connection. Does it have water? Not everywhere. How is this whole area here not got water? Ignore my amazing pipe placement. You know it's the best. Don't ever judge my pipe placement. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. I know it's terrible. Right, let's get some offices in here then. So we should actually zone this to be an office area. So zone it to be a new area. What is it? Chestnut District. I like that for an office place. Chestnut District. It's like, where'd you work? Oh, just down in Chestnut District. That's so cool. There we go. So just adding that in there because we can create like office special kind of stuff to that area. So policies, uh, city planning, um, industrial space planning. 
Will I keep him more effectively by overlooking a few safety doors? No, we don't do that. <laughs> uh, which is the one that you get? Is it biz business benefactor? High commercial? No. What did we choose for this area? Where is it? Over here. Summit Square. It's got some stars youth. What, come on, come on. Match security. Hmm. It's what it is by by default, because that's what the stuff is set to anyway. Um, is there anything that we can do? Taxation? Tax raise for offices? Tax relief for offices? Right, we'll do that in that area. That'll be nice for those guys. They'll love it. Okay, so, because there's pretty much not anything else in this area, up to a certain point, Apart from this here, obviously. Obviously, there's going to be one bit. We can zone all this to be office. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's so annoying right there. How did that happen? That stopped those guys here from having residential buildings. Right, there we go. Offices are now all going to come in, giving more places to work to satisfy our industrial demand. Once you bring down the industrial man, the commercial and residential should then start to increase, but we won't see it increase. Solely because they're still building this area over here. So it will take some time. Right, so while it's all still building then, I want to look at doing some beautiful paving work. So we have the little cross connection here. So let's have a look again. We're going to make this go down and connect it up to the roundabout further along. Oh, is this space already occupied? What? Ah, okay. Right, let's get that move it, move it tool. There we go. Is that done everything I, I can? I, yes. Perfect. So just bring that down to there. We want to integrate this into it. And there is a park right here as well. So we can integrate the park into this. So what we'll do is we'll create the little bend there. Hook those guys up. And then with this bend, there we go. They're pretty much all connected. And then we just do the odd little slit inwards now for them. There we go. We do one there. Now squeeze one just in here between these two. Beautiful. So let's continue this to go round. I like the bendiness in it. That's what I really like. All right, let's connect it to there. Because it kind of stops a little bit further down. I don't want to demolish all those buildings. So they can walk to there, walk down, and it's completely accessible. Create the little connections. For each zone. No, 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 noise. Right, this is great. This is great stuff. So that's all connected then. And then we've got to do the odd one or two round here, haven't we? Little pa uh, paths that climb up the, you know, the hills, the Hollywood Hills. Which is quite cool. So we do one like that. And they're going to hate me for this, but I just want to squeeze one in there. So that all connects up to there, and then we're going to run this through. It's like a nice hiking trail, but it's all paved because they can afford to, like, you know, pave the paths because they paid that little bit of extra money for living in this area. So there's more there's more in the budget for these guys. I like it all windy as well. Right, and where is it? It's going to end all the way down here at the park. Right, sweet. Let's connect this up. Oh, that's very awkward here. Right? These are that color. There. 
Nice, mate. Nice. Right. Let's get this all done. Beautiful. The more connections we create, the more likely they are to use it. Can't forget connections going up to that side as well. We have to get those in. Excuse me. Thank you. Create that connection, boy. Right, I'm going to do a little criss there, a little crisscross. And we'll just throw him in every so often. Oh, it's annoying if it's done it there as well. Damn, Zaniac, you're such a fool. There we go. Right, uh, we'll create the next one. Just there, sneak it through the buildings. How does that look? It looks really, really good. I feel like we need one up at this point. There we go. So quite a few in there. I like it. So that serves that whole top area there then. Uh, they're all good down here. I feel like we need to create a bridge path going over. Yeah, right. Let's raise it up. Just for those guys, because you'll have to walk all the way around to get down to here, and they can just bridge it across. And we'll probably eventually do some like wiggly paths coming down. That'll be really nice in that area too. So where else can I benefit from? Oh, yes. There we go. We can benefit here and here. And just drag this over. Connect it up. Oh, good. Look at that. Genius. I'm a genius. All right. Create a connection there. Um, oh, they're going to hate me for that one, aren't they? There we go. Got away with that one. <laughs> Um, right, this is all great. So that area is pretty much good. Um, there is like other stuff I could do, like Wiggly Pass going around. We'll fill all those areas in eventually. I just want to see how it gets filled up with buildings first before we, you know, do anything else to it. How is the offices? The offices are coming along quite nice. So we're going to create some little connections for these guys now because they're going to need them. It's only a couple, right? I only need one or two. Wait, is that even connected? It, it is. Even though it's got like a wall there, but it does, it will work. Right, just looking around, glancing around. That should all be good. Okay, right. Zoning. So now we've got really high commercial demand. That's now increasing. Uh, I feel like we've got all the commercial that we've set up here built, haven't we? Yes. Uh, everyone's using this inlet outlet road, which, we, yeah, I mean, I would say it's congested, but it's not. But we will see stuff like that happen. So maybe we could take advantage of this as a connection. Like we've done there, something very similar. How would that play out? Let's see. So this is the... Right, it means we might have to destroy some of that road. Right, let me go to about here. Right, if I did that... Can I move that further back? There we go. Hmm, that looks ugly, man. Not liking that connection. Right, let's go. Right, it just won't snap off that. Right, what if we push this back to where it originally was then? Right, if we created that there, that then should hook up to that. And then we're going to personally... Hmm. Right, let me destroy this. 
We'll move it, move it, move it. Oh, what have I done now, guys? Right, get rid of these. What have I done? <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to regret this. Right. Highways. We're going to make that higher. Make these slightly high. That's ridiculous as a slope. We need to sort that out after as well. Um, all right, we should get away with that. All right, that works. That works. Right. The path that we've now just deleted earlier. Yeah, all connects back up without any issues. That one should work, but we can also get a nice little connection like that, which is pretty good. Right, can they walk through that? Or are they getting like issues now with the wall? There we go. Okay then, so hopefully that now creates... Well, it creates another very close inlet outlet road. Again, we don't expect this to be very, you know, high traffic area. So then I'll get it all the way down there. Now it's come all the way around. I can just nip in and out here, in and out there. Quick little areas. All good. So we will see little traffic backups in various spots, but this is where, obviously, once we learn about it, we can sort it out with setting the lines. Of where you want stuff to go. So we've only really seen the traffic from this area. So if I got rid of traffic lights there, and once that tram's gone, it will keep it all flowing. Good stuff. It is moving. It is moving. Just takes time. Just takes time. Why am I seeing... There we go. So, so why am I seeing the zones? I shouldn't have been seeing the zones at that point, but we're all good. We're all Gucci. Right. We probably need to build some more commercial. Because this is slacking right now, this, this growth of area. We need to build it up. So where is a good place for the commercial? Let's find out. Just kind of nipping around certain areas. Um, we haven't tackled that. Oh, it'd be good to put some commercial around the borderlines here. Where's the commercial in this area? It's in the center. We could do some there. Just some small commercial. These guys have got commercial. Get away with some more commercial. Oh, look at that. We've got spots down here we haven't even taken advantage of. There we go. Any more spots like that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's so many spots down here. Have I not got these commercial areas set up? And over here. Right, there's more there. We'll see where the demand goes now. When that all gets built in. So huge traffic congestions and issues down here as always. We always have it. What are you going to do about it, boy? I'd like to put another toll road down there. We've done that in the past, but realize it backs up the traffic ridiculously. So I don't want to do that. How is these places over here doing? We haven't checked these out in a while. The farm making 6,000 profit. Nice. Um, while it's producing versus while it's outputting, we need to build more buildings. That would be probably the best thing for us to do. More buildings there. More production. I think the oil has the most production because of how many wells are put down. So we need to create more production buildings, but they're both making profit. That's why we have these little markers up here because we, we're producing more than we can pr well, produce. Well, we are getting more oil than we can produce into products, so that makes sense. So it's always complaining there's not enough buyers because we don't have that ability, which is weird. Is there any factory buildings I can use for 
that industrial steel plant turns oh no we don't have that um plastics factory oh we do we are producing plastic oh a plastic factory that'd be kind of cool to drop down somewhere where should we put the plastic factory do we keep it quite close or should we keep it in bedford park here you know keep the jobs close for these guys i feel like that's something that we should do but it all comes down to where where we drop it maybe here it's gonna obliterate some of their commercial that we've got there but then again we're gonna get some more commercial down anyway we might as well get that little line there so it's onto that more buildings down more commercial so obviously that's going to complain that there's no products we'll up the production rate dramatically so you know it just gets more stuff coming in here we can produce into plastic products and get even more profit that's good that's very good to next smart business smart so still waiting for this to all rise we are just literally waiting for it to all rise now we're slowly getting there it's a shame i can't fast forward any quicker we're just like literally in plain state because of how big the uh, city is but we're making forty-two thousand profit it's increasing very very dramatically these guys still not got power it's gonna take them a while should i drop should i give them some power stop them moaning where should i drop it um here it's a tough decision replace it it's a tough decision isn't it where to place it i mean i could just let it all build up but they are screaming for power so bad i don't want to do pylons over because because eventually they will all be connected up to the power grid and the pylons will look ugly i'll just give it a moment i'll give it a moment what i'll do now then i'll just let it simulate for about 10 15 minutes see if we can get all these buildings in and then we'll see what issues we face then but they're using this road might need to look at traffic in here. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just kind of turn the traffic lights off there, off there. So it, it flows. There's no issues anyway. There's no issues. It's just I don't like seeing traffic stopping, even if there is no traffic whatsoever. Right, let's simulate it then. Let's come back in about 10, 15 minutes. And Finally, see where we are. many, many moons later, it's now all up and running. So what I did is I applied the, um, where is it, the residential... Uh, self-sufficient building kind of uh, zone into this which has now changed up everything right and it all looks a little bit weird but we've got to wait till they upgrade because once they upgrade they will then start to look like this area over here which is also self-sufficient which looks nice bright vibrant and colorful this is just the basic version we've got the high-rise buildings in the middle which kind of look really dope versus this one that doesn't have any so like you can see the two differences between the two hills i uh, got some extra commercial down here for like little shopping zones and whatnot. Starting to see a few people coming in and off the ferries, which is really good. And I applied the IT cluster to this here, which looks so good with that little skyline, doesn't it? You look around like that. And eventually we can have some more coming down on this side. And also have it all high as well for a little river, like canal running through the middle. This looks so good. It really complements the stadium area too. Now, something additional that I've done is I've placed another little kind of cargo harbour here. I just want to see, this probably won't stay, it probably won't stay, but I just want to see what happens as opposed to this flowing traffic. We have a little bit of build up over here too of these cars and vehicles are just trying to get where they need to go. They seem to just be cutting in. Can I filter this a little bit better with anything? Um, it's quite difficult, isn't it? To try and filter that in. I'm going to try something now. And this could be a terrible idea. Right, we'll delete it to there. This could be the worst idea. It could be the greatest idea ever created by man. Wait, when did that get deleted? Oh, man. All right, just create a, little, a few little bends. What not? Right. So what, I'm going to filter it on the opposite side. Because that's something I don't normally do. And I just want to see if that is possible. Like that. It's not great. Right, 
Is that as good as we're going to get that little bend? No, we wish it a bit more. Right, I just want to see what exactly now happens when we flip it to the other side. Apart from all the vehicles dropping, <laughs> obviously. Let's fast forward as well as much as we can. Just wait for them to kind of sort and filter themselves out. Because predominantly I don't think all of these want to go that back into it. So filtering it on there, they, they merge in, they go down. So by filtering it that way, they can filter in this way. It kind of this traffic here, if it wants to come off, it can. It's now not being restricted, which should now get rid of some of that backup as it now all starts to flow. It doesn't look great, but I just want to see how it changes. But anyway, my original idea was this here. I want to see how it affects this. I mean, eventually we're going to have that massive cargo airport in. That's really going to affect these boats, and I'm still not sure where to pull it. I'm thinking here, but it might cause traffic. Might. You know, over here. Uh, over here. This is another thing I've been thinking as well. On this side of the city? I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think I should do about placing down a big cargo airport. Uh, but this is quite cool. It filters in. If you go that way or that way. But then we've got a separate route that goes down. If anybody wants to cut in, just go straight into the city without waiting. Like this vehicle here. I've kind of laned it all correctly, which is really good. So it just filters in nicely and this goes through. So they're not held up by these guys. Everybody in this little traffic jam is going to a cargo harbor. So I just want to see how it goes. It probably will change. But now this the backlog is slowly disappearing. Slowly but surely. So can we get these to stop merging in the middle lane? Let's do that. All right, stop merging in the middle lane, please. Merge after. And Let's say, let, why is this not already de designated? There we go. Let's get one there as well. So, just want them to like already know their lanes before they even get down to this area. There we go. That should be all good. So, it's going to be a, a little bit of wibbly wobbly going on right now as they all find the, the right lanes that they need to be in. But that now should make it all flow fairly easy. Which it is. You can now see it's all starting to flow. So the, that backlog again will now disappear properly. Now that it's all filtered nicely as they get to all these little junctions and turns off. So they, they know what lane they need to be in. Which is all good. Okay, so. Pretty happy where it's all turned out, guys. Pretty happy. We still did quite a few little experiments here and there. Uh, we've got to watch the traffic being built up on here. But... Uh, but I might keep it, just to ease the traffic there, because it's not as bad now. But we'll ultimately see what happens when we place in a cargo airport as well. But these brand new areas are looking pretty damn dope. Look at that, the little IT cluster there. This kind of forces this, like, you know, mass dominance on the side of the city. Which will look really good when we've got more on this side, and then we've got the little canal running through the middle that separates it. That's going to that's gonna be a little beauty spot, I like it. We got these two brand new areas, which they're going to take some time to get all up and running with the right building. You can see some of them are starting to get some color. It'll eventually look like this little area down here. This is all like low level stuff. You've got to wait for those to upgrade. It does take some time. But that's looking pretty dope as well, doesn't it? Oh, it looks so good, the city does right now. So good. We've come a long way, guys. We've come a long way. I've also been thinking as well, guys, would you like me to put this onto Steam at one point? So you can download the map and play it yourself. Uh, again, it's entirely up to you. Let me know, but it is looking pretty dope. It's looking pretty dope. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs>